Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Interviews. I'm with my old friend, Paul Walton. Paul, how long have we known each other? God, it's been at least 20, 25 years, Monty. Maybe longer. No, it can't be that long. Really? Okay, let, let, let's go for 21 years. Okay, 21 years. <laughs> now, Paul always was fascinating to me because whenever I ran into him at an event, he would hand me his business card, and it either had a president or a major celebrity on it, him posing with him. And I don't, how many did you collect over the years of those cards? Hundreds. Hundreds. Yes. So it always amazed me. And then when I'm watching the news, there's Paul and uh, in some political convention. You went to all the conventions, right? The, I think you've been to both, Republican and Democrat, right? Absolutely. You, Why not? You know? <laughs> well, here's what I've been thinking on my shows is you, people have a political stance, and you're not going to agree with it. No one's ever going to agree with that. That's right. You know, not everyone. Um, and then you're going to have a religion, and not everyone's going to agree with that. We have different religions, Allah, Christ, Buddha, whatever. But you can't argue with my movement, which is being positive, being fantastic. It's about as positive as you can be, right? You can't argue. Someone is going to argue with me. Okay, I'm looking forward to the person that's going to say, Monty, being fantastic, being positive is not the way to be. I'm going to say, well, you're a freaking loser, man. Get the hell off the planet, right? Exactly. So I've got a movement that affects everybody. And it's so fun every day to introduce people to being fantastic because it's sharing, it's giving, it's, it's karma, it's pay it forward. And when you smile, and by, and the word forces you to smile. So people, yeah. the millennials give me an argument. They say, well, if I'm not feeling great, or why should I say I'm fantastic? I say, because it will make you feel fantastic, because it forces you to smile, which releases the endorphins, the dopamine, the serotonin, which make you feel great, and to reduce your stress. It's like, you know, the field of dreams. If you build it, it will come. Yeah. If you say it, it will come. It manifests. It manifests. It manifests. I, I really believe that. Positive thinking manifests positive action. I really I tell do. people, get rid of negativity in your yeah. life. Get yeah. rid of negative people. Don't think it. Don't put it in your head. It's a cancer. And not everyone every day can feel, quote-unquote, fantastic. However, if you keep saying that word, it'll spur you on to become more fantastic. Right. And I really think it does. I'm on to something big. I think you're on to something big. I am so happy. Yeah. I actually, uh, and you can watch my interviews. I've got some time to kill here. Um, and uh, people, this is just the third interview last. There's a, a, a African-American gentleman that was makes the coffee in the morning where I live. Yeah. And he became fantastic two weeks ago, and I just recorded his results. He says, Monty, it changed my life day one. That he awesome. says, I'm blessed. Thank you so much for introducing me to this fabulous word, being fantastic. <laughs> Those are the kind of things that make me so happy. I get, I'll tell you another story. I met a, um, an 89-year-old woman. She outlived two husbands. Yes. And I said, how are you? And she said, I'm good. 99% of people say that, by the way. It's the, hor- it's the worst answer. Sure. Not bad is even worse, but good yeah. is bad. Okay. And she said, good. I said, oh, okay. So I gave her the speech, the Be Fantastic speech. And then I said, uh, have you ever met anyone in your life that says fantastic? Because so far of the thousands of people I've talked to about this, only 62 have ever met someone in their entire life that says they're fantastic. Oh That's a very disgustingly small number. Yeah. So she said, you know what? My second late husband said it every time he was asked. And I said, That's incredible. How did it make you feel? Because, uh, and she goes, it made me feel wonderful every time he said it. And all my friends felt wonderful every time he said it. So then I said to her, well, when you got in the car, you said you were good. Knowing how good it made you feel when he said that, why don't you say it to others? She goes, you know what? I never thought of it till now, but I tell you what, I'm going to be fantastic the rest of my life. Those are the things that make me keep going and, and spur this movement on. I want to get on talk shows. Um, next month, I'll be at the Unconscious Life Expo where the most intelligent people on the planet are going to be. It's the unconscious life? No, no the conscious life. Oh, thank God. It's yeah. Unconscious. No, we don't want unconscious people No, there. no, no. We don't want to <laughs> unconscious. No, it's called the Conscious Life Expo. Okay. Um, Eric Von Dyne again, yes. um, uh, Linda Mooton Howe, and all kind of transcendental uh, you know, philosophers and what have you will be there. And I'll, I'm, i got a press pass, and I'm going to interview a lot of people. Fantastic. So, so you're, you're already uh, subscribed. Now, this is on Doctor. Uh, it's on my podcast. This is a podcast. Everyone listening, obviously, go to Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers on YouTube or go to BeFantasticToday.com. Matter of fact, I'm giving Paul one of my cards, and he's giving me a million of his, and that's your invitation to be fantastic. Awesome. I like that. Look at that. And it's spelled correctly, too. Is it? F-A-N, like a fan. 
T A S T I C. Fantastic. Do you know what the word means in the dictionary? I'd love to know what it means in the it dictionary. Mean, it means you're more important because you're me- fantastic. Thank you. It means unimaginably good and beautiful. Is that That's what it the means definition. In the dictionary? Yeah. It's a fantastic word. It um, makes you feel good every time you hear it and every time you say it. Look at that. Be happier, live longer, and never be forgotten. You don't forget anyone. And I, the thousands of people I've talked to, no one will ever forget someone they've met that's fantastic. No one. Even if you meet them once. Yes. In the airport. Yes. In crossing, at the bar. Right. You never forget them. Right. It's, it's fantastic. Awesome. It increases your business because, you know, if you're in sales, you're yeah. going to sell more. If right. you're in management, you're going to get more respect. Right. You know? Right. I, I mean, just there's so many pluses to being fantastic. Right. You, make, you make the world a better place by sharing and giving. It's, it's called giving. It's called respecting your neighbor and being kind and donating. Fantastic people donate. They volunteer. They open doors. They let people in traffic. They make people smile. Because, you know, it's like the self-fulfilling prophecy in many ways. You know, and I know I say, I say if you say it, it will come. But it's really hard sometimes for people to say fantastic when they know they're not quite fantastic. It's true. But I do agree with you. If you start uttering it enough, you're going to feel better and you're going to feel good. Well, it's the only and word that makes you smile, and it even is. if you don't want to. It is. Did you know that if you don't smile enough, you don't get enough serotonin? And if you don't get enough serotonin, it's been proven to lead to clinical depression. Oh my Imagine someone who's clinically depressed. They're not going to be smiling. No. And then it keeps the cycle going. Right. And if they were to start smiling, they, people say paint it sometimes. Just push your lips up. Uh-huh. It will work. Right. And this, right. Is a, this is a physiological fact about smiling. It, it, it releases those uh, neural messaging units. And it's so important to be with positive uh, people. It's, too. Ellen, you got to get me on the Ellen Show. Do you have any connections to Ellen? Uh, not at this point, but I could if you. Okay, what a lot of people are doing is they're um, they're downloading the Ellen Tube app, yeah. and they're suggesting that she has Doctor Fantastic on as a guest because every day she says, "Be kind to one another." This is a way to be kind to one another by telling people you're fantastic because you're making them smile. If I were you, I would just go to the show, period. Yeah, and just let, let people there and knock on the door. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking of putting a big placard outside <laughs> as they drive by all the producers or something. But I figure you know everybody who's anybody. I used to uh, yeah. years ago. But, you know, now what I do is I take care of my father. I know. Who's turning 100 years old February 11th. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got to listen to this story. Paul, over the last year, has it been? Uh, well, six years I've been taking care of Dad. But over the, the last tour. year... We've been on the No Regrets Tour, yes. So he, he's on this No Regrets Tour. His father is a veteran, God bless his soul. And he's going to be 100 this year in February, That's which right. is fantastic. Um, and you, you've gone to amazing places in this last year. It's amazing. 19 states, 19 governors, and we're headed to the White House two weeks from today. Really? That's right, Bonnie. And it's going to be fan. It better be. It will be. I can't wait to go to the White House one day. I, I w- wish that you were there with me. Well, you, you tell them it's plus two. I'll go and I'll videotape it. You will? Yeah, of course. I'll go in a heartbeat. Okay, I like hearing that. You know, Monica we got to record it for good. posterity. That's I'll be the right. videographer. Okay. You know, I, I, one of my 79 careers, I was, I used to, uh, uh, I started the video department at Mammoth Mountain, and I used to see with 100 pounds of video equipment. And it's not as good a quality as this phone right here. Is that right? Is oh, that yeah. Funny? 40 pound backpack, a uh, uh, 40 pound um, recorder, and a 20 pound camera. And the quality's not as good as this. But um, And I just use this as it's exceptional quality for the internet and for the world, you know. That's great. But um, I'm having a ball, and I, I want to get to the. Matter of fact, we invited Melania to be uh, on my cooking show. I have a show called Cooking Styles of the Rich and Famous. Yeah. So imagine Melania cooking her favorite meal in the White House. That's one of my, um, John Paul DeJoria is going to be on the show. Shara said yes. Mm-hmm. Sue, Ra, uh, Sue, um, Sue uh, Wong, famous dress designer, is going to be on coming up in March. Nice. Um, but yeah, I'll go any, you, you know, I've got a plane ticket. I'm, I'm there. You know, I'm retired. I'm, I can go anywhere, anytime. I, I'll do whatever I want. But the movement needs to um, be spread. You know, this is just a positive movement. Yeah. The country needs it. The world needs it. Yeah. We need to be more, we need to have more positive people. You know, That's right. It's it's just it's a rat race, and you don't have to be a rat. You know, 
<laughs> That's a funny thing to say. <laughs> you know, but we, we, be, we humans become rats inadvertently. Yeah, uh, exactly. Thinking it's a rat race. But you're right. We don't have to be rats. We don't have to succumb to that. No. We're better than that. No. We are super fantastic. Well, the thing is, you're a creature of habit. And yeah. for 40 some odd years, no, you're yeah. 50. I'm a little. Your 60s in your 60s. I'm, yeah. For 60 I'm years, 60s. you've been saying good. Yeah. You're in a habit of that. And it's, a, it's um, well, I came up with an acronym for the, the people who say good. Yeah. Because it's the normal thing to say. It is. Okay. Um, and it drove me crazy because I can't stand normality and I can't stand that everyone, 99% of people would say good. So I came up with an acronym for them and I call them moaners. M O A N. M for mediocre, O for ordinary. A for average and N for normal. You don't want to be a motor. I don't want to be one of You don't want to be a motor. But it's going to take some practice, Paul. It does. Well, Monty, just to ask me the question, this is what I normally would say. Go ahead. How are you, Paul? I'm, and I hear I'd shake my I'm great. How are you? I'd okay. always say the word great. Great not good enough. But it's not good enough. Not good but enough. it's better than good. No, it's better than good and but great. it's not fantastic. You could say awesome. You could say awesome. incredible. incredible. You could say wonderful. Right. None of them put a smile on your face. Right. The, the secret sauce, Paul, That's right. is fantastic. It right. forces you to smile. Great is up there, but not quite. Great not is quite. really good. It's, but it's not quite. But it's not fantastic. It's not and that's why I'm Dr. Fantastic, because I have the prescription for a happier, longer life. Nice. And I just gave you the prescription. You did. You gave me a great gave you prescription the card. here. And, and you joined the channel, and you get some things to play now. You gave me a lot of things. You're, you're a giver. Well, um, it's called karma. And yeah. it, it, karma's a bitch if you're a bad person, and yeah. karma's a blessing if you do good. Yeah. And every day I feel so good when I change someone's lives. Okay. Now, here's what I'm saying lately. You could change the world by making two people smile. And all you have to do is say the word fantastic. It makes the world better two smiles at a time. That's you right. smile and they smile. That's if you right. make one person smile today, you made the world a better place. If you make ten people smile today, you've done really great. <laughs> and you've, done that, you've done fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> and look what you're doing right now today. Look who you're visiting and where you're visiting me. You came out of your way to UCLA Medical Center here in Santa Monica to visit me, hold up in this room, 4260, just anxiously awaiting different tests for my And I didn't condition. know you were in the hospital. And I didn't want to tell he, you. He invited me yesterday to come yeah. visit him. I said, well, I haven't heard of, seen him in a long time. Paul is a, yeah. is a wonderful human being. And I said, I'm going to go visit him. Then this morning when he told me he was in the hospital, I bought him a couple of little gifts. And um, I hope he gets well. You know, uh, you. And you will. I by won't. thinking positive, the yes. mind is most incredibly uh, uh, advanced tool known to man. It really it is. It's amazing. Yeah. You can shut down and die if you want, or you can, be, you can just walk out of here healthy as a lark. And that's you got to put I in your mind. To. Be, I intend to walk out here fantastic. You will. Happy as a lark. There you go. <laughs> I do. I really do. I, they say so, having a PMA, positive mental attitude. So this uh, show that well, I'm interviewing on is all about the mind, the body, and the planet. Now, um, you kept it uh, up mind even though you had millions and you lost them so you're still positive yes and how what's the secret to that to losing money or gaining money? well no <laughs> i've known a lot of people actually most of my friends have had a lot of money yeah. and they don't have much right now right um and i had a big yacht i don't remember i think you're on the yacht once. yes and i had a lot of friends they yeah. call me every weekend what's the party when's the dinner and guess what i sold the yacht and guess how many calls i get now uh-oh nobody That's calls good. me anymore oh mommy you sound just like me, too. <laughs> I, had, I had a big resort spa. That's right. And Did you finally sell it? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. If you gave it away, basically. Yeah. And uh, now I don't have the same people calling me anymore, nope. or at least returning my calls. Yeah. They like and, you when uh, you're on top. Isn't they, that funny? They, you, I know. There's, you know. It's because we, they were takers. That's you know, we're, right. we have a greedy, selfish, litigious society. Yeah. And being fantastic is going to be a movement that hopefully will change it a bit. Hopefully. And we only have 973 of people. Tell your friends. Get on the bandwagon. Let's create a movement. That's it's a right. movement. How can they sign up with you right now? Uplifting interviews with total strangers on YouTube. They can go on that yeah. and register or, their friends. Yeah, or go to befantastictoday.com. Uh, where the podcast, where this podcast is linked, and where the interviews, I have 550 plus interviews of total strangers. Wow. Everyone has a story, Paul. Wow. And a, a scientist that I've interviewed, and the musicians, and the entertainers, 
And the, I've been blessed to meet that kind of people just when driving Uber. I mean, right. I'm having the time of my life. I don't want to stop doing it. I'm having a ball. I don't blame you. It's you, so much fun. And why should you stop doing anything that you like? You got to do things you like. And you get to meet so many interesting people. <laughs> Every day. Uber. Pretty girls. Oh, yeah. Um, all, all kind of interesting people. I mean, yeah. and then when I change their lives, it's like, and they say, you should read the compliments on Uber. The compliments I get, it's all five stars across the board. And it's all people saying the most incredible person I've ever met. Um, what an uplifting person. I'm, I've changed my life. It's fantastic. And a lot of fantastics awesome. in there. That's and that awesome. makes me feel good. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That's nothing wrong with that at all. It's, it's, it's great. You're, you're giving back. Yeah. You know, well, um, my funny. friend John Paul DeJoria said, success unshared is failure. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. It's I a good know. thing. And he is a very good humanitarian. He said to be on my show, the Cooking Styles of the Rich and Famous. By the way, i got to give you a couple of these. Because when you're at the White House, yes. you got to give one to Donald. I'm going to give you a couple of these. When I'm at the White House. Now go on GoSydney.com. I'm taking my father there, 100 years old. GoSydney.com. Wow, these are some nice cards. So Money this cards. is a show that's for charity. So imagine if you ask Donald, if, Donald, what's your favorite meal? And he's going to say, lasagna. Do you know how to cook it? He's going to say, no. Let's get the White House chef to show you how to cook it in the kitchen sure. for a dinner party for your friends. Right. And we're going to have a ball. And we've done three shows, had a ball, uh, and everything's for sale. And all, everything for sale on the site goes to charity. So Donald supports his favorite charity, which right. would hope to be mine, which is you know supporting our servicemen. By the way, I love SOS.org, people. Sign up. Um, give discounts to veterans. SOS.org. Uh, I love SOS.org. Yeah, you have that's, that. You that's, know your that. that's my charity for charity. veterans. Yeah. Let me see if I have one of those cards. I got a card for every occasion. Well, Paul, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your bu- <laughs> busy schedule busy in the hospital room. Here. By oh, the way, ladies and gentlemen, he's, li- he's half naked in a, in a hospital bed, um, yes, and he's positive. Call. And I'm positive. There it is. Like uh, I love SOS.org right there. And that's for veterans. And the people who are listening and don't know about uh, supporting our servicemen, if you have a company or a product and you want to thank our veterans for their service to our country, you join the website and the veterans put their zip code in wherever they're going to, wherever they're at, mm-hmm. to find out where to dine, where to shop, or where to stay for discounts. Really? Nice. I don't make a dime from it. But it's 100% administration free. I designed the site to not have anybody handle it. It's all, you, you see where it is, you go there, you put your information in, you join, sure. and you're listed in a national directory, and uh, hopefully everybody wins. Awesome. You get more business, you thank your, country, your, your veterans, and veterans get a little discount. It's the perfect design. I love SOS.org. That's beautiful. You know? Can you do? What, Just get, keep trying. What a great Trying to charity. do good, good things. Yeah, it's a great charity. But uh, um, how do you afford to go to the, the White House and fly around the country like that? Well, my, my dad gets a little pension. Okay. And, you know, I'm pretty good at navigating, you know, points and okay. frequent flyer awards. And, okay, well, give me a good price yeah. or get me free, yeah. and I'll go with you for sure to go. Washington. And I'll be your, I'll be your uh, attache um, security and motivator. Motivational um, speaker. And, and we'll have a good time. We'll have a fantastic time. Oh, kidding? yes. I want to go to the White House. I want to tell the president to be fantastic. Yes. He needs to be fantastic. Forget the good time. Forget the great time. We're going to have a fantastic time. You're going to have a fantastic time. time. Your dad is fantastic. You are fantastic, my friend. Thank you, Be Mommy. fantastic every day. And it's so wonderful to see you again. You look great. And thank you so much for the motivational speech. Really. Um, it's change, It's going to change my life. And I'm going to use that word fantastic all the time. Every time. I will. And not only in a greeting, it's a fantastic day. You have a fantastic room. Your yeah. dad's fantastic. When the nurse comes yeah. in, you go, you look fantastic. Like Watch your smile. Yeah. Every time you say that word to someone, they're going to smile. Every time. Yes. It, not great. Not awesome. Not wonderful. Right. Right. Not beautiful. You can say you're beautiful, they'll probably smile. Yeah. But you say they're fantastic, they're going to smile for sure. And if they're carrying a pizza as well, it'll be, it'll be super fantastic. Super fantastic. Well, the professional level is I am fan-fucking-tastic. That's the professional <laughs> level. Everybody, be fantastic. Share with your friends and loved ones and family. And uh, tune in to all the great shows. Next month, tune in February 22nd and 24th for some fantastic interviews with Conscious Life Expo 17 at LAX. And thank you for listening, everybody. Bye-bye. 
Bye.